In some countries, it's a lot easier to get CBD than it is to find THC. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to mix CBD with zeolite to create THC. With this easy mixture, all you have to do is mix them together, put them in the oven, and you'll have an edible product. Please note that this is not a vapable or smokable product. In the end, the zeolite is not smokable, but it is able to be consumed orally. You can eat it, and some say it's good for you. There's no argument that it's bad for you. I've done some research. It's debatable how good it is for you, but it's definitely not bad. So this is a great way that you can get some THC into your system if only CBD is legal in your country. Now let's check it out. I'll show you how easy it is to do. So the first step is you're gonna mix your CBD and your zeolite in a one to two ratio. So every one part of CBD is two parts of zeolite. Most people recommend starting this with a 0.1 gram of CBD, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little larger batch here. And I'll use a couple different containers to show you how important it is to make sure that it is oxygen free when you're heating it. So these are a couple different methods you can use, basically whatever container you have on hand and if you're able to get some argon. So you just wanna get a scale and measure out your CBD. So here I have one gram of CBD isolate, to which I will add two grams of zeolite. When you're handling the zeolite, make sure not to use any metal. Zeolite will extract heavy metals out of substances, and that's why they say it's good for you, as it will supposedly remove heavy metals from your body. But basically, if you're gonna use a spoon or any metal object to scoop it, it's going to damage it. So just make sure you use plastic. I guess this is a metal container. Um, <laughs> well, we'll see what, how, if that affects the reaction. Uh, the main reason you don't want to use a spoon or something is you might like damage the spoon, the finish on it, more so than anything else. So I'll just mix it up good. So you want to make sure it's well stirred. You want a nice even mix of the zeolite and the CBD. Careful not to breathe the zeolite in. It does create a fine powdery dust that can be bad for your lungs, but just bad for your lungs because it's such a fine powdery dust basically. Now for these I'm going to use some argon. This is a heavier than air gas. It's normally used for wine preservation. That's what these are sold specifically for. You can find a link to them to purchase on Amazon in the link below. Using this will help create a blanket of argon that will separate the oxygen in the container from being able to touch the CBD and zeolite. If the oxygen is in contact with the CBD and zeolite while it's in the oven, it's going to degrade the mixture. It'll come out purple and it won't have THC or as much and it won't really get you high. You'll, you'll basically ruin it. So you have to be careful not to get much oxygen on there. Some people recommend wrapping it tightly in a foil and I'll show you that. But for this, I'm gonna use some argon. This isn't totally necessary as there are other methods, but this is what I would recommend as it's a lot easier so I'll spray it in there. Put the lid on tight. There we go, and that's good to go. Now I'll do a batch in this sealed container so you can see how it affects it, as well as this beaker so you can see the oxygen uh, degrading it. I might also leave some just on this as well so you can see if just having some walls um, will help the oxygen like the same oxygen will be sitting on it. It won't be wafting over as much. Whereas this one, there'll be flow over it. So we'll see if that degrades faster. And of course I'll have the typical wrapping in parchment method as well. For this, I will do just a 0.1 of CBD, a small amount, and a 0.2 of zeolite. So there's a 0.1 grams of THC. There you go, mixed with 0.2 grams of zeolite. So once again, to make sure it's stirred very nicely. And then you're going to want to fold it together as tight as you can. Make sure that no oxygen is able to get in there. This is the method for if you don't have access to a heavier than air gas, such as the argon there. So I'm folding it up really tight. You want it to be as airtight as possible. Zero point five five, so one point one grams of zeolite. That's what I'll add, and of course the argon gas. Zero point three three CBD. 
0.66 zeolite. And finally the beaker. It's half a gram of CBD. And one gram of zeolite. All right, so I've got it all mixed up here. And once it's all mixed up and good to go, you can go ahead and put it in the oven. We're gonna put it in the oven at 130 degrees Celsius, and we're gonna let it sit for about 12 minutes. And it's that easy. So first, preheat your oven. All right, so let's let that cook and we'll check back on it. After 13 minutes, I removed the zeolite that was in the tin foil and it appears to have worked properly but the other ones are taking longer to convert, which makes sense as I have a much higher amount of CBD in those compared to the 0.1 gram that was in the uh, tin foil parchment paper combo. Let's open them all up and take a look. So this is the one 0.1 gram with 0.2 grams of zeolite, one to two ratio here sit in there for 13 minutes. So it is a little light looking, but it looks like it's fully mixed. Not quite as dark as the opened air one, almost like a hash-like texture, yeah. Then we have the one that was exposed to the air, so this one should be more burnt. Ooh, it's like sticky. I think there is a little bit too much zeolite for the one to two ratio. A one to one ratio might do a little better, maybe one to 1.5. So if you're doing this at home, maybe do some experimenting of your own across a few batteries. This is my first time doing it. But this one seems like a nice sticky hash. Oh yeah. You can roll it up in your fingers. Even this seems like a little bit too much zeolite though. Although once you mix it more, it kind of blends in and then it really looks like hash there. See a nice little ball, sticky. And we have the open air beaker. So this does look like it burnt a little less. There's definitely more zeolite, it kind of formed like a protective barrier on top. And it's very sticky towards the bottom here of the beaker. Very sticky. I'll mix that up a little more. And get that out of there. So all these balls should be, all these little zeolite CBD hash nuggets, whatever you want to call them, they should be edible right away. Or you can mix it in with some MCT oil or some fats to make it a little more bioavailable. Now this is the sealed beaker. This one looks like it didn't process quite as much because it was a sealed container. But let's take a look. Shake it up a bit. Yeah, this one isn't quite done, I don't think. And as I said earlier, that's just due to this being a sealed container. We have to wait for the air inside to warm up. So it's gonna take a little longer. I presume the same will be true for this, but let's take a look. It is flatter, so it might've worked better. I can't open it. Oh, what's going on? Well, I don't think these containers are meant to be heated. It seems the heat's kind of sealed it. Yeah, that's really tight. Maybe it's the zeolite interacting with the metal container as well, but I can't open that right now. Well, I'll set that back in the oven. Let that heat up more. And then, so for these zeolite balls, let's, to see how well it did, I'm gonna go ahead and lab test them. Um, I'll lab test the one that was done in the parchment here as well as uh, this one that was from the open container. So this one to see how, just the oxygen deprivation, how much burning can affect it. This one to see if you just do the small amount for the scheduled time. And then also test the one in the vial there once it heats up a little more. And then I'll let you know exactly how much of this CBD isolate has converted into THC, either Delta 8 or Delta 9. And to figure that out, I'm gonna be using my HPLC machine. 
So the HPLC machine is basically a complicated machine that allows me to test my THC levels or any other cannabinoid levels in substances. This machine is tuned specifically for cannabinoids, so it can only lets me test for cannabinoid levels. Um, if you would like your own testing, go ahead and check out my website, trustmarklabs.ca, where I offer my cannabis testing services. So this is the HPLC machine here. Takes uh, fluids, mixes them with the sample, and it pumps them through this little tube here, and it shines a lamp through it. It does all the magic and lets me know how strong and what substances they are. After the sample is weighed, we put on a label. These usually quickly dissolve, but if not, I throw it into a sonicator to help it dissolve faster. So it's basically just uh, like a jewelry cleaner. Vibrates real good. And it'll mix up everything in there. Just uses regular water. After sonicating, they're both fully dissolved. So I'll wait for the last one to finish cooking, and then we'll get these tested. So the sealed container turned out pretty well. It's nice brown in there. And it was sealed with heavier than air gas to keep it nice. After lab testing each of the methods, I found we had the highest results with the sealed container with the heavier than air gas in it. So the argon gas sealed container uh, ended up with a full conversion, mostly D8 with some D9, but zero CBD left. The open air sample worked pretty well too, actually. So um, almost all of the CBD was converted. There's only 2% left. Um, you'll see higher numbers on this open air one. That just might be a larger sample of it was grabbed um, in the testing or I got a more, uh, I got a better ratio with the scoop. Like there was more cannabinoids compared to zeolite. Uh, don't, don't pay attention to that. Well, the only thing that really matters here in these results is the amount of each cannabinoid. So here we see that there's 2% CBD, so it wasn't a full conversion. In the sealed one, there was the full conversion. And then in the typical uh, pressed tin foil method that you'll see, uh, that one actually had the worst results. So we had very little D9, a little bit of D8, and a lot of CBD left over. So if you're gonna be trying this, I'd say the best option is to get a sealed vial, um, make sure it can survive the temperatures, and get some argon gas to put in there, or any other heavier than air gas and just let it run. I did have to let this one go for about an hour and a half compared to 10, 13 minutes in the sealed container, but that's just because it's gonna take longer for heat to transfer to the air in the container and then for that to start heating it up. It's a sealed container, so you have to wait for the internals to heat up and it'll take more time. Uh, this tin, uh, the zeolite kind of, I guess, damaged the threads or welded it shut. I don't know, I can't get it open for the life of me. Uh, so I wasn't able to test it or even see what it looks like. And so if you can get zeolite online and you can find some CBD, you can go ahead and make yourself some nice edibles. It's a great alternative if uh, THC is illegal in your country. If you want to check out more tutorials like this, go ahead and check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you very much and have a great day.